The following report contains some disturbing images. Nowhere in this devastated country has suffered more than Langtang. It is hard to believe that the ruins of a busy little town lie under this plume of rubble. Death rained down from above. The landslide and avalanche that obliterated the town began way up here in the mountains above it. Below me down here is a glacier and a huge side of it sheared off and crashed down into the valley, bringing with it hundreds of thousands of tons of rocks and boulders. Geologists have estimated that the impact was equivalent to half that of the atomic bomb that destroyed Hiroshima. We were the first journalists to reach the town in the days after the disaster and found a community in terrible trauma. Have you managed to dig into the guest house here? Mm, but we can't see the guest house, there are so many glaciers. We lost everything. Did you lose members of your yes, family? Yes, My mom and you know, my brothers and whole villages and they lost everybody, you know, they lost their family. At least 215 people died here, among them dozens of foreign tourists. There were 52 bodies laid out on a field. While we were there, they recovered another, a female tourist. More than 90 people are still missing. Just one house was left standing. Whoa. So this is, well, that last house, and didn't do four children survived here, didn't they? Yes, they just hide just the backside of these houses and they survived. I mean, frankly, it's incredible that anyone survived when you, when you look at the utter, utter devastation here. What remains of the community has come down from their temporary homes higher up the valley to remember the dead. The most holy man in the Buddhist sect the villagers follow has come to lead their prayers. The first trekkers are coming back. The slow process of rebuilding has begun. The villagers have received some payments from the government, but it can't compensate for the pain of their loss. This man left his wife and daughter having tea with her mother. Only the 15 or 10 minutes also. That was the difference between life or death. He hasn't found a trace of them. Dawa Sherpa now lives alone. He lost his wife, his son and his five-year-old grandson. Whenever I close my eyes, their memories come and haunt me, he tells me. I haven't slept properly for a year. They light butter candles and pray for the souls of all the people that have gone. In the ruins of the monastery, flags flutter, one for each person killed. Many of us have experienced the loss of a loved one, fortunately. Few have known trauma on this scale. Justin Rowlatt, BBC News, Langtang.